Today's an exciting day here at UNO talking about the schedule release and being back in Division I. For you, exciting to join a program where you get the opportunity to walk in the door and there's a lot of opportunity for playing time. Talk about your experience so far being here during the summer at UNO and what you're working towards to try to make yourself a key factor for the privateers this season. Well, it's an exciting. It's just exciting to be down here in New Orleans. It's a great city. Um, so far, the university has been good. I've just just got here on Friday, so I'm still getting used to the hot weather down here. But uh, yeah, everything is good. I'm just trying to work on every aspect of my game that I can work on to just help this team get to the winning stage that I wanted to get it get it back to, uh, like back in the days, like in the 70s and the 80s, just trying to get back to that level. When you were committed to the program, you didn't know what kind of schedule you would be facing coming uh, from the junior college level, but you knew that they were trying to put together a challenging slate. Now, since you know the teams that are coming up, you've got some real name programs, Mississippi State out of the SEC, of course, Butler and what they've done recently, amongst others. That's got to be really exciting for you, a chance to prove that you can play with the best. Oh yeah, uh, I played at Division One level my freshman year, so I'm kind of used to it so far. So, but uh, playing those teams is going to be big for our team, just period for all of us. Uh, be a great experience for all of us. Uh, I, I relate basketball to life lessons, so I feel that tough things like that will help us in the long run, not in just basketball, but in life. So, but I'm really looking forward to playing it against the top 25 teams like Mississippi State and Butler. That's going to be exciting for all of us. So. Talk about the draw to come down from Chicago. You've taken the long road through college ball. A lot of players do to find a home. What made UNO seem like a home for you? Well, the coaching staff and just the guys that I spent my visit with, it felt like family instantly. Right right when I met Coach Sless, uh, right when I met, met Coach Berg and the players, and it was just a family instantly. Like I felt like right when I stepped foot on this campus, I, this is the place for me. I, I knew it right then. First day I got on my visit, I knew I wanted to come here. I didn't tell him that because I didn't want him to start treating me any different. But he, he's not the type of guy that treats you any differently anyway, even if he knows. But it was just a family feel instantly. Right talk about that family feel, not just uh, with the program, but your experiences so far. I know you haven't been here that long, but talking about being on campus, I asked Lavelle Cook this question early, earlier as a returning player and a local guy. What are your thoughts as far as the concept that the president, the new president of the university right. here, Dr. Peter Foss, is saying, you know, we can use athletics to help uplift the whole university. That's got to be something that's exciting to hear for a guy like you to know that it's more than just you as a basketball player trying to win games with your team. You can be so much more more to a school that's got to be something that adds a little excitement to what you're trying to do here well I think it won't just help the university it help the city and whole like New Orleans is, it, is waiting for something to happen it's waiting on either the Hornets the the Saints to get back on top and win a championship or even us I mean we can make a big a big change a big splash in this city uh, hopefully we can do it uh hopefully we can upset some people and I think that we we can beat some teams I don't think we're just here to compete with them we're here to beat teams I mean you know, so it's just something we're looking forward to, just being able to go out there and compete and put a put a stamp on the city. And no doubt pro basketball is something that's an allure to you towards the future. You've seen some guys that have made it on the pro level that come to work out, and that gives you a feel for the history of UNO basketball before recent times, how high this program's been able to achieve and the type of talent that's come out of the program as a result. That's got to be something that motivates you personally. Oh, yeah, just seeing those guys come back and come play with us and just see how good they are, it makes you very motivated to get in the gym and put the extra work in, shoot some extra free throws, get a 500 shots up, do anything that can make your game even better. But just pushing your teammates to even make them better too because we're going to need everybody to, to be able to win at this level. So, I mean, but that's definitely motivation to see guys like Bo and, and those guys doing doing their thing down there in uh, different countries and being star players. So it's it's exciting to see that. Eddie Denard hoping to add his name to that list and help UNO win. Thanks so much for joining Thank us you, and good luck.